What's up guys, Deluxe Sausage here, and today we are playing as Top Lane Ginsu's Tank Vane. Now, I know that was a mouthful, but it really just completely accurately describes what we're doing today. Like I said, I am playing Top Lane Vane, a pretty standard pick uh, as far as, you know, the less standard, like it's, it's the standard of less standard picks. But I was thinking that since I wanted to do something a little different than usual today, I would do something that was similar to that other build of, what the heck, what the heck, come on dude, come on dude, you don't win this my friend, you don't win that, what is he doing, oh no baby, what is you doing, oh giving me a lead like that is not a good idea, so he decided that he wanted to fight me in my minions, and also after I had already gotten quite the lead on the damage on him. So this guy doesn't have teleport, and I get to push this under his tower right now. Maybe, come on, get to the tower, get to the tower, get to the tower. Yes. Yep. Wukong's not in for a good time now. So he misses all those minions. I get double daggers and a potion. <laughs> that's, that's good. That is good stuff. And there goes his entire advantage with the ignite. I knew this guy was going to play really aggressive because he's got Ignite. So he has no more summoners at all now. And we are definitely in the driver's seat because this is going to be slowly pushing actually back towards me. He has the Siege Mate on his side of the map. And this is going to stack up over here. I mean, it's going to be a big wave on his side of the map. They'll be right about here. So this will slowly naturally push at me, which is really good because I can freeze it. But it would be kind of hard to freeze right now because we're still pretty even... On, uh, what the fuck? What the? What the fuck? What the? Okay. Unbridled aggression coming out, and now I get to set up a freeze exactly where I would want the lane to be. So, this is good. I'm just gonna freeze this right here. Unfortunately, I can't really help that. The exhaust coming out. Um, Yasu's the only one that can really help. Because if I leave, I miss way, 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 way too much. He should be okay. But as long as I can tank this way for just a second, this is going to be so good. So I just drag it down here to actually keep the entire wave on my side of the map. This is another thing you can do when you're freezing. So it doesn't go under the tower. I don't want this to go under the tower right now because then it will actually shove back towards him. By freezing it right here and... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. What? What is these boys doing? Okay. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna... Actually, it's gonna unfreeze naturally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually not step forward right here. Because if Wukong has his... um. His clone move, he can actually just run out of this bush invisible and then hit me with his Thunderlords before I can actually react and stop it from happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get a refillable. And it looks like that's, yeah, that's exactly what he was waiting on doing, as we expected. Sorry, I am, I was trying to explain to you guys what the point of this build is, but I am just completely at a loss for words. I'm going to stop this Wukong from backing real fast. See if I can get there in time. Oh, it looks like I won't. Whoop, I missed the bush. <laughs> so, I probably shouldn't have just like vindictively rewarded that bush, but I kind of just really wanted to. So, as I was trying to say at the very beginning of this, the reason I'm playing Tank Vane is because one, I think it'll be really fun. Two, I think it's going to work very similar to exactly how Tank Kogma top lane works in the sense that you just get Ginsu's and then build um, full tank, and then have your Ginsu's along with the on-hit effect of my Silver Bolts doing all of my damage. Now, if this Wukong still has the balls to just go flying in on me, one, I'll be... I'll be very surprised, but... Uh, oh, there we go. There goes, like, a quarter of his mana for 
Not a whole lot of my health. So what I should actually be doing here is letting this wave push out from under his tower. Because ideally, I want to freeze this again. Whenever I have this under his tower, it's actually kind of giving him more chances to farm in a sense. So by pushing this really hard again before the next wave even gets here, it's going to be a neutral wave right in the middle of the lane. And I can take advantage of how powerful I am over this guy to make sure that I can just zone him off of minions. And ideally... If he even goes for anything, or if he tries to use an E on me or anything like that, this wave is going... Oops, or I'll just misclick and ruin everything I was talking about. So you don't want to do what I just did when you're trying to freeze, but... Uh, did this guy back again? If he backed again, then I do want to push this. He might have backed and gone for Serrated Dirk. So by him backing and me pushing this, I go do that. And... Oh. Well, he didn't back, so now I have no idea where he went, because he's not low HP, so he didn't do, go do Grump. Is it actually called Grump? I've called it Gronk for so long that I don't, <laughs> I don't remember its actual name. But we're going to get the recurve bow here. Smiteless Jungle Warwick, the only kill on their team. That's impressive on its own right. So 52 to 32 CS. Now that it's back to a point where I can freeze again, because the Siege Minion is on my side of the map, and he's got a wave of five, yeah. This is, this is real good. Ooh, there goes his clone. So, he could be trying to gank right now, because he is level six, so all he's got to do is run to a lane, and, um, <clears throat> go through anywhere, and just use his ultimate on anybody. So, four minions right here. This is... The ideal number. It keeps the minions occupied long enough to the point that the next wave will get here. And my current ones will be hurt enough that I get to sit here and do this. So there he is in mid. Now, I could freeze this still. What the fuck? Did he just get five-man ganked? Poor Yasuo, dude. I could have kept that frozen, which might have actually been the better thing to do. Because whenever you freeze waves, it's not only to just, like, stop a laner who's in lane. It's because whenever they're out of lane too, you actually want to keep it frozen if you can't push it in time to get the entire wave under the tower before they get back. Because by freezing, it just denies so much more. From the minions constantly killing your minion wave, it's just so much, so much lost for the enemy. Now, this should be fine, though. Because now, it looks like he stuck around bottom to go try and help with the dragon. So, this will tank 8 shots. These are all low, so the mains will kill them. He's here again. Wait. So, I really... If you're, if you're in the Wukong's position, you don't want to do what he just did. Because what he just did was he, he opted to poke me instead of getting, like, any of the mains that were under his tower. And that's a tremendous loss of gold on his part. So, he's, he's starting to feel it. <laughs> he's definitely starting to feel it. 80 to 41. I still have two kills. He got one assist. Now, I'll give it to this Wukong. He has done a good job of not letting himself die more to me. Um, so, that is good. We haven't really had a whole lot of good chances to kill him. I've just been playing a game of denial where I'm the one farming. So, here he is still. And every time he goes up for a minion, ideally, I want to try and auto him. Because this is how you deny people minions. So, there it is. Looks like, yeah. He went for the poke and backed off. Now, I do need to be careful of Warwick. He should be level 6 pretty soon, but he's mid. So, I don't really need to be that careful of him. And, ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, I assumed that he would have had the ignite there. I tried to flash when I realized what he was doing, and that's my own fault for dying like that. That was dumb. There's literally no reason I should have died there. But, uh, sometimes you do what you do. So my mistake. Fortunately, that doesn't throw my entire league because I have such a tremendous amount of, like, advantage on him. But that does suck. That does suck. Now, I don't think getting the... Fuck it. I'm just going to teleport back up here. And I'm not going to actually buy anything, because Blasting Wand doesn't even help in any way. But <laughs> I want to get the Ginsu's before I finish anything else, because I don't really need my Ninja Tab I right now. And I also don't need um, 
well, really anything else. The reason I don't need Ninja Tabai right now is because this guy's trading so little with me, and by the time that, since he was either backing or dying in this situation, I either um, come to this wave, get the wave, and then work on this. I still have my ultimate, too. This guy... Wait, what? Get off me. Is he gonna... I feel like this guy's not gonna try and ult me unless Wukong is behind him. So Wukong should be getting back here in about 15 seconds now. So I'm gonna start backing up right now. <sighs> so, about 10 seconds have passed. Where's Wukong? Where's my boy? Hmm. Where's my boy? I don't want to step up forward. Because Wukong can either be over here or waiting over here. Okay. Since Warwick has left the area, we're good. We're good. And I can... Oh, there he is. Hmm. That's one of the annoying things about this lane is Vayne. <laughs> Every time he goes on me, he can just invis out. And that's a really good trade for him. So what I want to do now, go back, get my Ginsu's. We'll go from there. I'm pretty impressed, by the way. This Warwick is jungling without smite, and he's severely out jungling our jungler. Like, he is five of their team's six kills, or responsible for them. So, like, I'm not trying to bash on my jungler. I'm just trying to say that's legitimately impressive on his part. Truly, like, that's really impressive. <laughs> So good job on his part. Yasuo picking up a kill. Will die though to my Wukong. And as I get tankier, yeah. that's a bummer. That is a bummer. But I do have Ginsu's. He wants me to get the red buff. And now is when we start building the tank. So as I was saying, the entire reasons for the Ginsu's is because that's going to be our only damage item. It's the only one we'll need because it makes it so my Silver Bolts procs every other auto. So I'm going to be going for a Frozen Mallet next along with Ninja Tabai. And then I might get Mercurial Scimitar this game only because they have so much CC. With Warwick Ultimate, Malzahar Ultimate, and Leona Lockdown, I feel like that would actually be really worth it for me. Um, so I may do that. But let's, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the game is going. So let's... Can I get in range? Alright, so where's the Warwick? He's not there. Dude, I fucking misclicked Wukong and shot the turret. And I'm very upset about it. Very upset about it. But I need to back immediately, because I don't know where Warwick is, and he can be hauling up here. So, get out of there! That was so horribly played that I don't have words. But it, it still resulted in a kill. We'll take it. I did not need to use my flash there. But because I messed up, I had to. What you gonna do, though? What you gonna do? Warwick is bottom. This tower is down. I should start roaming at this point because it'll help. Also, if I just use my ultimate there instead of saving it, there's no real reason to save my ultimate. Had I just used it instead of flashing? Because the ultimate increases the effectiveness of your passive as well. So you run faster towards people. And let's see. This in here. I do still have the red buff. If they go on him. Ooh. Oof. Ooh. Maybe? Oh, what? I am very surprised that hit me. Alright. Oh, maybe? One. Eh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, were they doing dragon that whole time? No, dude. That's not what we needed. <laughs> That's not what we needed at all. Oh, man. Really need our team to not be doing the dragon right there. I assumed they would split off and come help, but uh, I probably should have pinged it. Probably should have pinged it. 
So, my bad. I'm going to teleport up here, get this pushing again. Maybe, I guess I'll keep farming. I got to get my tank stats so then I can actually do what I'm trying to do. Because at the moment, just the way I'm building, I naturally don't do that much damage, right? Like, I do damage over time, um, which isn't a bad thing in essence. I just need to be able to do that damage over time. Because right now I'm in a weird spot where I don't really have damage well i have as much damage as i'm gonna have but i don't have the means to live to do that damage so well that's good that he killed the wukong bad that he was on a fucking killing spree right. you know what good job yasuo he got a double kill 1v2 under their tower so what else can you say other than just good job man because that's that can be tough to do now, I don't want to run up here too much because Warwick can obviously ult me, but Leona can be on this side of the map too. She was just mid whenever they were fighting over that, so I should just go help Trundle over here, and there she is, as prophesized. I'm just going to run over here myself and see. Hello. You guys remember how I mentioned that I might get QSS? Holy shit. <laughs> that is exactly why I was saying that. Because good fucking god. It's so much CC and we really badly need our bot lane to come up and help. Because they either need to like actually push or come help. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting QSS next, dude. Fuck, there's no way I'm doing anything else. 100% going QSS next. So I'm going to see if I can get in here and help. This Wukong is an issue. They used the exhaust at a pretty inopportune time. It's okay, though. It's okay. That is a okay. So maybe I'll... Oh, oh, no. Boom. 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 Maybe... Maybe? I'm not gonna go for it. No, let me out of- Yes. Okay. Wait, no, I lost my Ginsu's anyways. Oh, well. Still got Jinx out of there. She stepped up just a smidge too far. The root tail going in. I guess we're doing that here. Um, yeah, that'll actually take this turret out, so. Because here it goes. Just weep bonk. He's gonna not bust that shield. There it is. Ooh, ooh, the double alt, maybe. And yeah. hold on. All right, just auto, auto. Look at this. Look at it go. Look at me go. I'm doing nothing. All right, there we go. <laughs> now I look like a vain player. I flashed randomly and went forward under a tower, dived to get a kill, and the flash. Oh, man. Well, that went really well. <laughs> Nami got a wonderful bubble. Yasuo ulted off of that. Both the carries were able to sit there and just do damage. That was really good. And now he... Uh, getting this inhib might be... Eh, whatever. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Alright, we got it. Who even cares? Go away, monkey man. Alright. Ooh. I'm out of here. Word to your mother. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. Can she get it? I'm gonna give you the bizzle. Hmm. What do you mean, Jake Salted? What do you mean I do no damage? Alright, I guess I should just run away. I guess I should just run away. Dude, I am so used to doing actual damage on this champion. It doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense. In my like in my mind, because I sit here and look at it, I'm like, yeah, I'm a six kill vein, and then it's like, pee, pee, <laughs> like I don't, I literally don't do damage, which, I guess that's a playstyle thing I'll have to adjust my mind to for playing this, and I'm really not certain why they're still pushing this with Yasuo and Caitlyn up, 
And the inhib is down mid, and this guy just gets a turret. So, I mean, we do win out on top of that because of the... Um, because of the inhibitor being down. So even though we did die, we got three turret, four turrets, because we got all three in mid and the inhibitor plus the top lane turret. I mean, it works out. It really does work out. And this Wukong really turned into quite a lot more of a problem than I ever thought he was going to be this game. From the very successful roams he had, so good on him. He did the exact right thing. It's just, man. All right, let's see. We get that. Jinx is about to get Yasuo'd. Yeah, there's... Uh-oh. Well. Holy shit! <laughs> Let me auto-attack to keep up the Ginsu's! There we go, got it. I'll do it again. I'll keep on autoing. Just keep the Ginsu's up. Pew! Pew! Alright, Wukong wants it. Shove him back! Get out of here, monkey boy! Use the ultimate! And... Oh, maybe? Alright, keep the Ginsu's up. This is still okay. Yeah, we're good. We get this tower now. And someone has to go back and defend the base, because they've got supers going in. Wait, hold on, wait for it. Oh, uh, hold on. The outplay button. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 insanely get... I'm dead. It's over. Insanely gifted. There it is. That's the stuff. Insanely, insanely gifted. You know, honestly, I could see this going really well as this game goes on. Like, if this, if this game had a chance to go on, they would have two big tanks, right? And as long as I get tankier and tankier... This is the only part of this I'm building, by the way. I don't want the actual other part of it. I just want the QSS. So, what I'm going to go for now is going to be... Actually, a Frozen Heart would be really good. <laughs> frozen Heart or Randuins would be really good. Frozen Heart did just get buffed, too. It's now 100 armor. So... Frozen Heart or Randuins. Either way... Either way, I'm definitely not going to be going wrong. Those are definite options. They really shouldn't need me for this Baron because I want to get these mains and they have two inhibitors down with their 80 carry bot lane. And realistically, if they're going for the Baron, I should be on the bottom side of the map anyways. Um, all right, they're starting to come, so I should... Yeah, no, no, it's, it's gone. There's literally no chance of them losing it, so I'll get these. Oh, oh but there is a chance for a fight. And, oh, hit him into the wall. Beep, 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 beep. And beep. Hold on, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Oh my god, I'm veining. I'm veining. My veins are popping. Alright, check this shit out, bitch. You think you're getting away? You think you're getting away? Not today! Woo! Get over there! <laughs> Teleport for the technical quadra kill off the back of the Baron. Riding off of it. This will be the successful tanky vein top. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get to my full tank build or even utilize most of my tank stats. It was actually just a two item vein where I get a frozen mallet. So everybody's going to be like, Tank is back and you, you, you dummy. Like, you, you fraud. This is nothing but, 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 but boohickey. This is, this is shenanigans. This is fool. And, well, I would say yes, because I couldn't get most of my tank stats. I had 2,200 gold to spend, but you know what you do. You know what you do, 10, 5, and 6. Look at that damage. That's the stuff. Wukong, truly, really good job on his part. If he ever, for some reason, sees this, um, like, if he ever, for some reason, sees this, I really want him to know, like, really good job, because I destroyed him in lane like there's no no one can really deny that we destroyed him in lane we had him on such a short leash and crushed him but he just did such a good job of getting everything he could truly 
so really, really good on his part. Um, other than that, everybody else, really good job. Warwick, also really fantastic job. Jungler without Smite and even being that successful. Just a really good game all around, honestly. Really good time. Um, and as far as this build goes... Definitely do try it. This is a build that I have done before, and I wanted to show it to you guys. But unfortunately, the game didn't go on long enough that I could show you the full thing. But as you can imagine, it's kind of that same amount of damage all game. You just get tankier and tankier and tankier and more annoying to kill because you can kite really hard with the Frozen Mallet. And then also, as you keep kiting people, even if they get to you, it doesn't matter because you've got four tank items anyways. So... I recommend you guys do give it a shot. Really fun time. And if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out. If you want to enjoy my public Discord or follow me on Twitter, both the links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!